in the morning. No, it's a scam. I figured out it's ludicrous. The, I figured I figured out the uh, blood and treasure. By the way, no. Yes, I figured it out. It's a psyops, and this was revealed in a uh, the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology, who came out with a report called "Casualties of War and Sunk Costs: Implications for Attitude Change and Persuasion." That would be the definition of psychological warfare. Changing your mind. Check this out. War protests, both explicit, like memorials, and implicit, like lists of casualties, can actually make people more supportive of a war, according to this uh, new study. And here it comes. Studies authors explain this by reference to what they call a don't waste or sunk cost mindset that sees blood and treasure spent on a war as an investment that can be recouped only by staying the course and winning. So now I understand why they're using oh, blood and treasure. Is, where'd you get this? Go back, 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 This back is up. the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology, the report, Casualties of War and Sunk Costs, Implications for Attitude Change and Persuasion. Where did you get this? From from the Journal of Experimental Social no, Psychology. I mean, well, you're not, it's not like you're out, you get the thing in the mail. Oh, no, my how, Journal of how, Experimental Psychology <laughs> just showed up, honey. Hold on a second. How, Let me read it. How little you know about me. Dude, this is the kind of stuff that's on dude. the... Dude. Dude, this is the kind of stuff that our producers post on the NoAgendaNewsNetwork.com. Uh, okay. Good this, catch. And uh, Science Direct actually uh, was the link to this. But, of course, I get the study. You know, people send me the link to the, to the right, summary page. So, but no, no agenda news network dot com. If you want to be a producer, send me an email and uh, put uh, N A N N producer in there, and I'll uh, hook you up with an account. So again, I just I just want to psyops. That makes sense. I mean, it just keeps cropping up too much. Now, a lot of people, of course, are unwittingly using the term, which just adds to the greatness of it's it. It's fantastic. And and so the actual. Let me read that again because it's such a beautiful line. A don't waste or sunk cost mindset sees blood and treasure spent on a war as an investment that can be recouped only by staying the course and winning. Holy moly, it was right in our face. Should I play that blood and treasure thing again? I have it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that's a beauty. That's actually a good idea. When did, when did I play that? Was that on the... Uh, it was about two uh, or three shows ago. Really? That far ago? And you played it back, uh, well, maybe two shows ago, but you played it at the end of the show, too, as a show ending. Um, okay, hold on a second. I have I, I have a pretty decent system here. We're, this is pretty good. I think this is a good catch. I you know I, this, this goes in the next newsletter I send out to the people. By the way, if you're out there listening to this show, please get on our mailing list. And this, you can do that by either looking at the no agenda show, uh, dot com page or Dvorak.org when I post it. It's, there's a little link you can sign up. Um, we also have a new show on the No Agenda stream, which is uh, uh, one of our producers reading our talking points, which is, <laughs> is beautiful. It's like, hey, yeah, fantastic. Oh, here it is. I've got, I've got the medley. Here we go. I knew I had it. Not just their time, but their treasure. And not waste our precious blood and treasure. The loss in blood and treasure. We must make hard choices about where to spend our blood and treasure. I just don't believe that it is worth the blood and the treasure. In blood and treasure. In my mind, not only are the costs and lives and treasure. With all of the American lives and treasure that were laid down for the lives and the treasure that were expended. A second war was launched in Iraq, and we spent enormous blood and treasure. So I would submit to you, Jean-Claude, that every single politician who uses the term blood and treasure is psyoping you and is actually trying to get you to buy into spending more on military and killing more brown people in deserts. Well, I would agree with the uh, with the Obama and the uh, McCain to some that are in that uh, clips uh, fest that you just played. But I, I'm sure that it, on occasion, one of these boneheads in Congress just hear, hears the term and thinks it's so cool that they use it. <laughs> and they're such idiots that they're playing right along with the game. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't say 100 percent. I say the, the obvious ones are obvious. I mean, McCain... Obama, and Kerry, two or three, B- B- Boehner, and a Boehner, few others yeah, are yeah. obviously in on it, but there, there's probably a couple of 
dimwits that are just saying it because they think it sounds okay. Coming to a Talking Points memo near you very soon. I'm going to show my support by donating to No Agenda. Imagine all the people who could do that. Oh, yeah, that'd be fab. Yeah, on No Agenda in the morning. 